Okay, and howdy on a lovely afternoon in March here in South Central Texas, where I'm just hanging out in the yard and taking stock of things at the beginning of spring here. Well, I see that the lavender didn't make it after the freeze, after all, but that's okay. I have an aloe I'll show you in a little bit that I have planned for that space. And I'm still into finding interesting rocks and other items from nature. I think that's an excellent beginning for a pipe for a gnome. I'll just leave that there. I'm sharing space with the birds. A lot of cedar waxwing in town and sparrows and thrush like robins. Uh, I'm going to get some new baskets and materials so they can they can feather their nests with this. I'll recycle that way. And the yard, well, it's recovering after the gophers <laughs> and the fire ants. I got something with um, Spinosad Omri listed for the ants and also the gophers. And uh, both items did their job. So I'm happy to say the grass will soon be back. And the holes are not as numerous. The shed project is ongoing. The roof is done. And we will be painting that a beautiful robin's egg blue and a butternut yellow. I'm excited. And I'm still working here on the compost, which really does have to be relocated and turned anyway. So that's what's happening. I'm turning the soil, getting it done, and uh, still finding some items that haven't broken down. Some grapefruit, some eggshell, onions. Uh, but that's okay. The work continues and it's a good thing. I'll be placing this dirt on top of the garden patch I'm about to show you. And I'll be planting this aloe. Put some rocks in the bottom here to help it drain well. And then I'll be adding more soil. And then I'll put this on top. Aloe. Great for beauty and for health. If I have a burn or an insect bite, I can break this off and put the gel right on, directly onto the wound. Or I can uh, take one of these, keep them cold in the fridge in a plastic baggie, and put them in my juice or water. 